This is the inner sphere. Thousands of planets colonized by humankind. Once it was united under the star moon. But for the last 300 years, it has been consumed by savage wars. Until a new enemy appeared. Mysterious invaders known as the clans. Powerful and ruthless, they struck like lightning, attacking every sector at once. But they made one big mistake. They attacked my home planet. Now in the spirit of the Star League, ancient enemies have reunited. And we're going to take back our galaxy. Cousin Adam, I am pleased to hear of your recent success in appropriating clan weaponry. My engineers are already incorporating the technology gleaned from your reports on their elemental armor suits. But sadly, I must turn down your request to replace your inoperative battle mechs. As you know, your official mission is intelligence gathering, not combat. We're practically on Somerset's doorsteps, and Archon cuts us off at the knees. I know, Adam. Somerset's my home, too. But by acquiring clan tech, we've done more for the inner sphere than anything we could have accomplished on Somerset. That doesn't help our families. Major, I just got a message from the jump ship Strongbow. One of their dropships went AWOL. They think it might be headed our way. Have Franklin report to flight deck B. Whoa, you're trusting that guy with a banshee? I need a pilot out there, and unless you can earn your wings in the next five minutes, he's my only option. So, tell me something, Franklin. Where did a shipping merchant like you learn to fly an aero fighter? Did you imagine that you were the only believer in cross-training? <laughs> Not any more than I believe I'll ever get a straight answer out of you. Dropship in sight, Major. This is Major Adam Steiner of the AFFC, hailing dropship Hedgira. Do you copy? Repeat, this is Major Adam Steiner, hailing dropship Hedgira. Major, look out! Franklin, what in blazes are you doing? Hold your fire! Oh, guys, settle down. We're on your side. Identify yourselves immediately. This is Major Victor Steiner Davian of the 12th Donegal Guard. Victor Steiner Davian? As in... That's right, Mr. Sakamoto. You just fired on the Prince of the Federated Commonwealth. I know what I saw, Major. They were training their lasers on you. I'd like to avoid an international incident, Franklin, so I suggest you do what you do best. Keep your mouth shut. Major Steiner, I want this man taken into custody immediately. I'm taking full responsibility for the incident, Galen. It's my fault for ordering radio silence. I, I would have done the same thing in your position, Major. Yeah, would you send a Drak to do the shooting? That's enough, Galen. Let's not forget the Draconis Combine are allies now. Your Highness, we'd better have that shoulder looked at. You letting a drag doctor treat the prince? For your information, Captain Cox, this dropship and jump ship are staffed entirely by Combine personnel. Victor, I suggest you return to the Hegira immediately, for your own safety. That's ridiculous. My Somerset cousin leads a fine example of cooperation with our Draconis allies. I'm pleased you admire my work, but with all due respect, you didn't go AWOL from your jump ship just to evaluate my unit. Yeah, okay, that's correct, Major. I'm here for something far more important. As you may know, Captain Galen Cox and I were stationed with the 12th Donegal Guard on Trell One. Victor, we can't hold him here much longer! Hang in there, Galen! The clans have hit us pretty hard. Galen was doing his best to hold the Pirate Canyon Bridge. Galen, we're almost finished here!
Everything's in place. Caleb! And mech made it across and chased us into the caverns. Badger 1 to Denmother, come in. I need a new vector to the front. Negative, Victor. You and Galen are to return to the base immediately. But, Colonel, they need us at the front. That's an order, Major. You see that dropship? Get in it. Both of you. I will not abandon my people. They're getting cut to ribbons out there. You want to go down in history as the man who lost Trail One? There's nothing I can do about that now. But I refuse to be known as the man who lost the Prince of the Federated Commonwealth. Get him out of here. Colonel, I'm not! I'm really sorry about this, Victor. Oh! That was the last I ever saw of Trail One. Before long, I, I found myself stranded here in the Butler system on an inoperable jump ship. You see, Major. I need your jump ship to return us to the Trelwan system so we can rejoin our battalion. I want to state for the record that I've been against this plan from the start. Don't mind Galen. His flak suit's wrapped a little too tight. My orders are to see the Prince safely back to the Fedcom outpost on Sudeten. You know, I will not abandon my men simply because I happen to be the Archon's son. Our jump drive needs a week to recharge before we can go anywhere. So in the meantime, why don't you work on your travel plans aboard the Katana? I think you'll find the accommodations there a little more comfortable. Adam, I radioed the Strongbow and told them that the Prince is safe and sound. Unfortunately, their jump drive will require three weeks worth of repairs. So we've been ordered to escort Victor back to the Fedcom base on Sudan. We're two jumps away from home and they're making us turn around? Adam, if you don't mind my asking, what can we possibly do for Somerset with only one working mech? Gentlemen, allow me to show you to your quarters. Victor, get down! We are merely taking them into storage, Steiner Debian Sama. Nice souvenirs, Major. Where'd you get them? More importantly, why do Drax have free access to such highly sensitive material? Mr. Sakamoto played a pivotal role in helping us seize those suits, Captain. I don't know what kind of operation you think you're running here, Major, but you have the heir to the throne on your ship. I suggest you start taking his safety a little more seriously. These suits are fantastic. We could use them to infiltrate the clans on Trelwan. And Somerset. You make a very tempting offer, cousin. All hands, this is Lieutenant Rachel Spector. All off-duty personnel will immediately report to Dropship Quaidon. Galen, what are you doing? Just keeping watch. You can never be too sure. Uh, uh, get some rest, Captain. That's an order. Listen, I didn't need babysitting on Trail One, and I certainly don't need it now.
Major, we got trouble in the Prince's quarters. I'm investigating now. Engineering. Shut down power on Turbo Lick One. You all right, Your Highness? Forget me. I want that intruder. Major, there's been an attempt on the Prince. I'm pursuing the intruder through Turbo Lick One. Docking collar A. <laughs> Our buddy was heading for the Quai Don. Search the jump ship. Lieutenant Spector, seal off the Quai Don and conduct an immediate head count. I want every single crew member accounted for. If anything's happened to the Prince, I'm holding you personally responsible. Oh, Galen, give it a rest. I'm fine. All personnel are accounted for, Adam, with the exception of Franklin Sakamoto. No one has seen him on the Quai Don or the Katana. What about the Hijira? We want him alive! Care to explain just what you were up to? I cannot say. Maybe you want to try. That's enough, Captain! Now, Franklin, you better say something in your defense, because it looks like you're either the assassin, or you're protecting him. Either way, he's guilty. Major, I want him remanded to my custody so he can face the proper authorities. We have no hard evidence of his guilt. We don't. I found these in a ventilation shaft aboard the Hajira. Yours, I believe. I simply can't accept that Franklin would be an assassin. What are you hoping to find in his quarters? Looks like someone left his locker open. Uh-uh. It's been forced. I want the Prince put on a 24-hour guard. I still say you'd be safer on our ship. I will not be carried away from another crisis like some helpless royal fop. I will always have enemies, Galen. Whether an outside invader or, or a traitor for my own family, it comes with the title. What, do you plan to keep me under guard when we counterattack the clans on Trellwan? You still haven't told him about our orders? This whole thing may have an upside. Now, if the Fedcom brass think Victor's in danger, then someone else is gonna have to escort him back to Sue Dayton, leaving us free to move on to Somerset. Careful, Adam. You just made yourself a suspect. Franklin. Why will you not confess? Your actions bring disgrace to the crew and the entire Draconis Combine. Hey, I got orders, Doc. All non-essential personnel are confined to quarters. I fail to see why all Kuritas should be punished for the actions of one individual. <sighs> Figure it out on your own time. All right, which one of your buddies swiped the elemental suit? Why? Is one missing? Who you're working with, now! Galen? What's going on out there? Galen?
time, Major. I am now the Prince's only hope. Franklin. Do you copy? Yes, Major. I believe I do. How did you know the assassin was Stevens? When you found me aboard the Hegira, I was examining their computer log, searching for proof that they were targeting you before I fired upon them. I found an entry that a self-destruct program had been implemented in the Prince's mech. Clearly, someone aboard the Prince's ship was the assassin. Since I could not determine which was the culprit, I had to wait for him to make another move. When I learned of the missing elemental suit, I knew the assassin would strike again. Why didn't you tell me any of this? Would you have believed me? Mr. Sakamoto, I am forever indebted to you for saving my life. It was a matter of giddy, of honor, even if you are the son of my enemy. When you attain the throne, I hope you will not make me regret my actions. You've got a brave crew, Major. We'll need their brand of valor on Trail One and Somerset. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. But what about our plans? Victor Steiner Davion's courage in battle, narrow escape from the clan forces, has spurred the men and women of the battalion to incredible acts of heroism. Morale remains high among the underground resistance on Trail One, thanks in no small part to the continued survival of our Prince. I'd hate to think where we'd be if you hadn't made it, Victor. This clan invasion is bigger than either of us, cousin. And like it or not, we each have a greater responsibility to the entire Commonwealth than to any one planet or unit. You know, you've gathered a great deal of intelligence on these clans, cousin. I suggest we put it to good use and plot a strategy for the clan's defeat. 